This one is a broccoli orange chicken. For the sauce, you take um, chicken broth. I, I usually use chicken broth because it's a chicken dish, but they gave us beef broth. So let's just say any broth you like. A quarter cup of uh, rice wine vinegar. It's a quarter cup of everything. Stock, rice wine vinegar, light brown sugar, and I use the pourable kind, so it's, I just kind of eyeball it. A quarter cup of any spicy sauce you like. This is sriracha, which is spicy, but not too hot. A quarter cup of tamari or soy sauce. Now we just need one tablespoon of orange marmalade. About an inch and a half of fresh ginger chopped. And then I use the zest and juice of an orange, or in this case, it's a blood orange. Mm. I know. Then we're gonna put the sauce on to gently simmer and reduce while we're making the rest of the dish. Yum. This guy back here on low. The thing that's gonna take you the longest is the rice, takes about 20 minutes, just good old white rice. I cook the rice in stock as well, rather than water, so that it gets a lot of flavor. You're gonna be cooking over high temperature, so you want high temperature cooking oil. That means oil that's neutral in flavor that you can see through, that's very light in color. Um, grape seeds, safflower, sunflower, peanut oil, those are all great for stir fries, which is basically what we're making. And then we're going to add about two tablespoons of cornstarch to a couple of large egg whites. And this is going to help us crisp up our chicken. The chicken can be white or dark meat or a mixture of the two. Cook the chicken in two batches if you have to. See, it becomes this beautiful, smooth coating for our chicken. So we're gonna cook this in a little bit of oil and get the chicken out of the pan so we can add the broccoli to the pan. The chicken that's coated with egg whites and cornstarch is now out of the pan. It's not like 100% cooked, it's like 90% of the way there. I brown it until crispy on both sides. I slide it out so we can get the broccoli stir fry going. I let the bro broccoli brown a little bit, which makes it kind of nutty tasting in our high temperature cooking oil. And we're gonna throw in the whites first of some scallion and some chili peppers. The last thing you add is your reduced sauce, the tops of your scallions, and your sliced garlic. You don't want the garlic to singe, so you put it in just the last minute or so while your sauce is thickening up. And this is a combination of our chicken and broccoli, chilies and garlic. We're now going to add our ginger orange sauce down over the whole thing. Please. Gorgeous. Toss that together. Make sure everybody's coated and that the chicken is hot through. And I just fluff the white rice with a fork. Stick a spoon in it. And then when we bring our bubbling chicken and broccoli to the table, I top it with what's left of the dry roasted peanuts with the special coating on it that I love so much. The crunchy peanuts and a drizzle of toasted sesame oil. Then you fill the bowl with the saucy chicken and the brown sauce with the nuts and the orange. Oh my God, I can't even talk to you. This smells so good. <laughs> and then the rice up on top so you don't get that sog out that happens. Chopsticks. There you go, make your own takeout. <laughs> Woo!